This video is going to be for any side hustler, okay? If you have a brand right now that you're trying to grow, if you're trying to become a YouTuber, a blogger, a content creator, if you're starting another business, whatever it is, but you've got another full-time job or even part-time job that's taking up a good majority of your time, this is the video for you. And the first place we have to start is my story. I started my brand back in October of 2016, and at the time it was just a website, thecontentbug.com. I was spending as much time as possible working on growing my brand while also working a full-time job. Because as you guys know, when you're first getting started, you're not going to make any money. You're not going to see money for months. It takes a while to actually get to that point. So I was working a full-time job while also trying to grow my brand. And after about five months of just hard work and not seeing any results, I felt really, really discouraged. I felt like I was just treading water, I was spinning my wheels, and I wasn't actually making any progress in the direction that I wanted to go because I wanted my brand to become my full-time job and I just could not figure it out. I couldn't crack the code. Now, five months in, okay, I've been doing this for four years at this point. So looking back five months in, I mean, man, you're just getting started. But there are definitely things that I've learned over time that have actually helped me to grow my brand and get me to the point that I am at today, as well as some productivity tips to make sure that you guys are actually being productive and doing things that will push your brand in the right direction. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about time management, things that I have learned along the way. And honestly, let's just, like, go ahead and get into it. <laughs> if this is your first time coming to my channel, hey, what's up? I'm Catherine. But one thing I feel like you should know is that I have been working from home for four years. I am very used to this working from home environment. I absolutely love it. But when I was first getting started, let me tell you, there were days where I did not get dressed and I worked in my pajamas where I just wasn't productive. I would watch TV and it was a hot, hot freaking mess. And I could create a whole entire video on just some simple tips to help you be more productive at home, such as actually getting ready for the day. It's the simplest little thing, but I'm telling you, it will put you in more of a productive mindset compared to working in your pajamas. But for this video specifically, I wanna dive into the things that truly helped me to actually grow my brand while being more productive. Because although the tip to not have your phone in your office while you're working, yes, that's super helpful, I, I feel like I've got more value to give you guys. The very first thing we need to talk about is Honestly, like I feel like most people structure their YouTube videos in a way where they save their best thing for last. I'm giving you guys my best thing first because this is going to change your life. And if it doesn't change your life, then you're not doing it right. But right now I'm currently making myself breakfast, okay? My stomach is growling and for some reason this autofocus is not working, boom. Okay, so. The monetary value of your time. One of the biggest mistakes that I did when I was first getting started is I thought that I needed to grow my Instagram account. And I was like, if I grow my Instagram account, then that's gonna grow my blog and everything else is going to fall into place. When in reality, growing my blog ended up growing my Instagram account, growing my YouTube channel ended up growing my Instagram account, but growing my Instagram account didn't help with anything. And I know there's going to be other creators and people out there that are going to tell you different things, but I just wanna share my experience. And when I had that mindset of, oh, growing on Instagram is going to help me to grow my brand as a whole, I would spend hours every single day liking other people's Instagram photos, commenting on other people's Instagram photos, just trying to get that outreach and engagement so that people would come back and follow me, which then ended up leading into a lot of people doing the follow for follow thing, which I wasn't interested in, but I would spend hours every single day on Instagram trying to grow my Instagram account with no reward. And at that time, I didn't understand the monetary value of my time. Here's what I want you guys to do. First step, make a list of all of the things that you need to do just to keep your brand running, okay? This could mean filming YouTube videos, editing YouTube videos, taking Instagram photos, responding to emails, whatever it is. Daily maintenance that you notice that you have to do every single week just to keep your brand running. The second thing I want you to do is make a list of things that you could do that would actually grow your brand. So let's say you want to make more money with your brand. That could mean coming out with a paid product. That could mean reaching out to brands for sponsorships, applying to more affiliate marketing programs, brainstorming videos you could create that would lead to affiliate marketing sales. Like there are specific things that you can do to grow your brand in a monetary way or just in another way that aren't on your weekly I need to do list. And here's what I want you guys to do is once you have that list written down, 
Go down through and realize the monetary value of it. Leaving comments on other people's Instagram photos isn't going to make me money. Compared to creating a new paid product, what is more important in terms of especially the growth of your brand? And another way that you can look at it is in terms of the direct result of the action that you are doing. So let's say that for some unknown reason, every single week you are changing the cover image for your YouTube channel. What are you expecting to get from that? Because if you're honestly telling yourself, I'm doing everything to grow my brand, but you're spending two hours every single week updating your cover image, guys, your cover image isn't going to help to grow your brand. It's not going to help you to get more subscribers in any way. Compared to creating an extra YouTube video every week, that would help you to grow your YouTube channel, you know? So think about it in terms of why am I doing this? What is the direct result? And like, is it actually helping me to go in the direction that I wanna go? Because so often I think we spend our time spinning our wheels acting like it's being productive when in reality it's not it's not helping to push us forward so on that list of the things that you have to do every single week to maintain your brand as well as what you can do to grow your brand put either a dollar sign beside them or you can do like stars or little dots up to four the tasks that aren't really bringing you that much result in terms of growing your brand, give them only one dot and then go back through and then give the next level two dots, give the next level three dots, the next level four dots. And then once I'm done with my toast, we are going to talk about actually making time for those important things and not just spinning your wheels on the unimportant tasks that you still need to do. Like you still need to do them, but making sure that you save time and make time for the things that are really going to grow your brand. But let me finish this. This is something that I have been doing for a very long time. I would say three years, maybe like two and a half, three years I've been doing this and it's theming your days. So let me explain this mindset to you guys. Let's say on a typical day you create a to-do list and you need to film a YouTube video, edit a YouTube video. You also want to respond to emails. You need to do some bookkeeping. You need to set up some automation within something. I don't know what you're doing, but all of your tasks are all over the place basically. And every time, you jump from one task to the next task, your brain has to catch up, it has to switch gears and then focus on the next thing. So for me, what I do, and it is, it's seriously a game changer, at least for me. Now everyone is different and maybe this strategy won't work for you. But if I have one set day where I'm like, I know I need to edit a vlog, I need to edit an IGTV, I will set all of my editing aside for one day so that I stay in the zone on that one specific task. I'm not jumping from task to task to task. I'm staying in the zone on that one specific task that all relates together. So for me, every single week, guys, I have got certain editing days and I do have several editing days a week because there is so much editing that goes into YouTube, but I will set aside Tuesdays to film my YouTube videos. And that is considered my filming day. And what I'll do on those days is obviously film videos like this. Sometimes I'll vlog, sometimes I'll film an IGTV, which it's been a minute since I filmed an IGTV, but I try to categorize all of my tasks into certain themes and then I place them on days. So every single day of the week has a theme and a certain task goes there. So for me, I also set aside a day for admin tasks, which that means going into my QuickBooks and approving all of my transactions. And if that is something that you absolutely hate, the joy of theming your days is that you know on Thursday that you have to get that done. You actually make time for it and you do it while also being more productive because you're staying in the zone of just doing all the admin things that day. So with your list of all the things that you have to do, categorize them. And that could be such as filming and editing. Those are specific days that I have, but it could also be marketing, could be product development. It could be admin work. It could be outreach or making money, like trying to find ways to increase your income or develop new income streams. Like whatever it is for you, it's going to be specific to you. So take a look at your list, come up with the categories that you specifically need a day for that you can fill a whole entire day with those tasks and then put it on your calendar. And then you know every single single week, what you're doing, you make sure that you get the tasks that you need to get done, like your daily just maintenance of your brand, as well as growth of your brand, guys. If you are not putting in when you are going to work on things that are actually going to grow your brand, you're never gonna grow your brand. The next thing that I want you to do, is that crooked? It seems crooked to me. Is that better? I don't know, it seems worse. The next thing that I want you guys to do is set yourself up for success. And I feel like some of these things are not that advanced. They're not that crazy, but it will make a difference in terms of your productivity. One thing that I do, like I said, I know every single day what the theme of that day is and what I'm going to have to do that day. So for today in particular, I knew that I was going to be filming. So in order to set myself up for success, what I did yesterday, guys, I charged my batteries. I charged two batteries to make sure that I wouldn't run out of batteries and that I could continue to filming no matter how long it took me to 
film a YouTube video. I also made my outline for this video. While I was in bed last night, I wrote down everything that I wanted to say, or at least the general bullet points and things that I wanted to hit, so that when today started, I could wake up and I could get to work. And the other thing that I also did, now one of my main tasks today is filming this YouTube video and working on this YouTube video, so I didn't specifically need to create a to-do list for today because I knew what was on my to-do list, but I will also, the night before, make a to-do list for the next day so that I wake up and I'm already in the mindset to get to work. I don't just like immediately hop out of bed and get to work, let's be honest. I don't do that. But at least once I'm ready to get to work, I know what's on my plate and I'm not overwhelmed thinking, oh my gosh, there's so much to do. I don't know what to do. Like I already have it broken out day by day what I'm doing. And I know based off of the theme what I'm going to do that day. So I think that's enough of planning out the tasks and things. I hope you guys understand how to create a good to-do list or at least like managing your time, making time. Anyways, you guys understand what I'm getting at here. So the next tip that I have for you guys is find shortcuts, okay? But like don't cut corners, you know? So find things that you can do to make your life a little bit easier without ruining the quality or lessening the quality of the work that you are doing. Does that make any sense? Let me give you an example. I recently shared how I create graphics and things and include them within my YouTube videos. And in there, I mentioned that on my external hard drive, I have a folder with YouTube assets, which are just things like graphics as well as music and sound effects that I use within my YouTube videos. And I'm organized in that way so that I only have to create a graphic once. I only have to download a song once. And then once I have it downloaded, I can add it to my YouTube videos and it's really, really easy for me to do. And I actually have in past YouTube videos where I have graphics that I've created, I will go back, I will copy and paste them and I will put them into a new video because there's no point in me spending time on every single video developing these new crazy cool graphics when it's not going to help me to grow. Yes, improving your editing and doing small tweaks here and there, it's, it's important. But in terms of just like general basic graphics, guys, do it once and then copy and paste it and do it again. Now, everything isn't as easy as copying and pasting. And this section of the video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. You guys know that I love working with them. And if you are brand new to my channel, Epidemic Sound is where I get all of my copyright free music to include within my YouTube videos. Seriously, the best platform. But they recently came up with a new feature, which I thought was absolutely perfect for this video because it helps you guys to save time. Because like, am I the only one that can just truly spend a couple of hours searching for the perfect song for their YouTube video? Especially when it's a vlog and I'm just trying to get the vibe right. I can spend a long time searching for music, but with Epidemic Sound, they are making your life a whole lot easier. And this is one of those things, guys, a little shortcut that is going to save you time because we are all about being productive productive and freaking time management here. When I've showed you guys Epidemic Sound in the past, you guys are probably used to seeing this right here. So this little featured categories and they changed through some of these because obviously it's holiday time right now. So they've got a holiday one right here. If you continue to scroll down, they got staff picks. And of course, right up at the top, you can select genres or moods or albums. And I do have an album with Epidemic Sound. If you guys want to check it out and make your life a little bit easier in terms of like finding B-roll beats, I will include a link to my album in the description bar down below. Below, but their new feature is right up at the top here. So once you sign into Epidemic Sound, this is what appears and they give you recommendations of songs for your YouTube channel based off of the songs that you've used in the past. I'm telling you, saving time, like this is where you first start your search for music. And then if you scroll down a little bit, they also have this section right here, which shows you more songs that you could possibly like. Now, one of the features that I love to use, and I know that I've shared with you guys in the past is, I already know that I like this song, Celebration of Life. I've used it before, and I think it may actually be one that's in my album. But what I will do if I really like a song is I will go over here and I will click on this double circle icon. And this will bring you to similar music to the one song that you liked. So let's say in the past, you really loved a song that you downloaded. And actually, let me show you another way to do this. If you click on me, you can go up here to downloads and this will show you downloads that you have downloaded from Epidemic Sound. You can click on view more and you can see even more songs that you have downloaded. But let's say specifically, I remember I loved this song. I can go over here and click on the double circle icon and that is going to bring me to similar music. So a major shout out to Epidemic for making our lives a little bit easier when it comes to finding music for your YouTube videos. Like I said, I've been using Epidemic Sound for a while to find all of my music. And if you wanna get started, you can get a 30 day free trial. I will include a link in the description bar down below but that was just one example of ways that you can find shortcuts or there's really guys like there's a lot of systems and things out there that are going to save you a lot of time. I just wanted to give you one example, but the next tip I've got for you, 
Ooh, this is, this is something that changed the game for me. And I know I've said that a lot, but this is actually something that changed the game. If you find that after all of that, you're still not being productive and you're spending a lot of time just scrolling on Instagram, or maybe you just want to like sit on your couch and watch TV. What I want you to do is grab your phone or grab some kind of timer. Like if you've got Alexa's in the house, you can set a timer for 30 minutes or whatever. Time yourself for 30 minutes. And during that 30 minutes, you can only work on one task. You can't get up to go to the bathroom. You can't get up to get water. You better come prepared to that work session. And while you are working in that 30 minutes, you can't click out of the tab. You can't click to any other tab. You can't click to any other platform or whatever. You were doing that one task that is given to you. And now here's the two benefits to doing this. One, you are going to understand how much time it actually takes to complete a task. Because if you say, okay, I'm going to give myself four hours today to take an Instagram photo, edit the photo, upload the photo. I'm going to give myself four hours. You're going to take four hours to do that Instagram photo. Compared to if you only gave yourself 30 minutes, it's going to take 30 minutes. Like it will fill the amount of time that you give it. So by timing yourself, you better understand how long it actually takes you to complete certain tasks. So let's say every day you're spending two hours responding to emails when in reality, again, you can get it done in 30 minutes in the future, you know that you can get it done in 30 minutes. So that's going to help you to make sure that you have enough time to work on the tasks that are going to push you forward. But the other benefit of this is that you become hyperproductive. And when I get asked how I'm so productive or how I get so much stuff done in the day, it's because I'm hyperproductive. Honestly, after a week of timing myself, I knew how to get a task done. Like I knew how to get to work and just cut out all distractions. So it's going to really train you and train your brain. And once that 30 minutes is up, then you can get up, go to the bathroom, get some water, take a two minute break. Like maybe set a timer for two minutes and then get back to work. And then after every hour, you can give yourself a little bit of a longer break. But I'm telling you, you are going to train yourself to be hyperproductive. You are going to understand how long tasks actually take and you're going to get more done. It works wonders, guys. Like it works so well. And I know I'm like geeking out about productivity over here. This is something that I love and I'm not kidding when I say that it it helped me to skyrocket my brand. When I was first getting started, I thought that I was being productive. I thought that I was doing everything right and that I was spending my time in the best possible ways. But once I started to implement certain things, I realized just how unproductive I was being and how I was really hindering the growth within my brand. So I'm hoping that you guys got something from this video. If you want more productivity tips from me or even just work from home tips, like I said, I've been doing this for four years and I definitely have things to share, but I just wanted to specifically give you things that will hopefully encourage you and push you in the direction of actually growing your brand, especially as we go into 2021. And soon, guys, we're going to be talking about setting goals for 2021, what my goals are. And I'm so excited for that video. So I will see you guys back here soon in another video. I'll see you guys back here on Tuesday with another video. Duh, Catherine. But bye guys.